sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour And, yes, we are what's known in the trade as live. That camera, David, that's the one. Good evening. Hello. How are you all? I hope and trust that you are well and not sweating like I am. Because I've just had a, a little technical glitch and a mirror and a hitch. Solved now, thank goodness. And everything appears to be working. And I trust that everybody can see everything all right. It's another experimental night, but we're going to try and do it properly as it should be. I am joined tonight not by Keith, who is elsewhere, doing Keith-alike things. Had a prior engagement that's been set up for a donkey's age and there was nothing he could do to get out of it, unfortunately. But I do have my right-hand woman, or one of my one of my very many right-hand women, actually. We've got Kat in, in the cat house. How are you diddling, Kat? You all right? I'm doing canny, thank you very much, Dave. Good. Doing canny. Good, it's what we like to hear. Uh, um, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you seeing all this daftness that's going on in the control room? It's fun, isn't it? Fun? It's a learning curve. It's definitely that. I maybe need to show everybody what we're looking at. That is what we're seeing. So you can see what's going on, what's going out live, what's, there's all these different bits and bobs to look at. And frankly, it's not easy to do. Not even remotely easy to do, is it? <laughs> You're not kidding. Especially when something's brand new like this and quite complex and different to what we've used before. Uh, you have to get used to so many different things, so it does take a bit of time. And it's virtually very hard to do with just the crew, which is why we really need you guys to help out with this as well. Because you reporting back to us helps us enormously, doesn't it, Dave? It does indeed, yes. Now, I can just, just see what, what Heiko has been saying there. He says, the Make TV video isn't as good as the YouTube broadcast the other day. More computer resource intensive, less resolution options. The video is jerky. Um, yet yeah, that might well be the case. And, and, and it might well be the case. This is the kind of feedback that we need. Because what we're trying to do, as far as possible, is to come up with a system that is going to work for as many people as possible and give them the resolution that they need. Now, the 720 feed is going out at quite a high band rate. Band rate, bit rate, bandwidth. Um, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Yeah, it's quite high. Um, but the fact of the matter is that it, it it's multiple resolutions. So you can go down to 480p, you can go out to 240p if you want. Uh, and that's all good. If you've got the bandwidth for 720, brilliant. But we're experimenting. We're trying to find the best way possible of getting you the best quality possible. And this is just another another step, another brick in the wall. Dun, 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 all in all, <laughs> it is another brick. <laughs> I just did that, didn't I, Chris? You did. You did. <laughs> However, this, this new system does have its advantages. And, and one of the advantages is I can do this. If that's gone live, it has gone live. And it should be available now for you to vote. And you've got some choices there. I don't know if you can see them on screen. Are they big enough for everybody to look at? Should all be there. Um, which coil should Dave make for you? The top one, it says KFUN Light Plus Clone Basic. The Scrape Micro Coil, the KFUN Light Plus in a real KFUN Light Plus Basic Coil, or any of the above. You can vote, you can click over there. Can you make it a little bit bigger, Dave? Um, there's a few people saying it's a bit small. I can try. Um, there's a few people saying it's a bit small. I can try. Hang on. There you go. And that, that should now be bigger, is it? It's not. You have to switch shots. Go to live 1.2 and then back to 1.1. One, one. Okay, there's live 1.2, one, live 1.1. One, there we one. go. That should be bigger for everybody now. Okay, it's coming up, it's coming up. It's coming up, it's coming I'm up. I'm clicking. 
I think it does our end though. Can't click not active. Yeah. How does this work? Right. Start voting. No, you can. There you go. It should be active now. Yeah. Can I click? It's not clickable. I'll try it. I'm sure it says. It's ah, I have two votes. I set the wrong one away, didn't I? That one. Start voting. Now try. You should get a message asking if you would like to participate in the in the voting. Yeah, there it is. There we go. It's now away. Try it now. See if you can click. And I shall have to vote. I have voted. I'm seeing 38%, 17% for the scrape, 22% for the care fund, and 23% for any of the above. 105 votes, 110 votes. This is brilliant. There you go. So it's going to be the K-Phone Lite Plus clone, basic coil, it says here, Chris. Hey, this is clever, isn't it? Never been able to do this before. 132 votes out of 208 online. 134 clever. votes. Stop. I like this. <laughs> 136 votes. I am, I am, I'm well impressed by that, I have to say. Get voting. So am I going the right way? You need to lean to your left. My left, that way. Yes. You know I kind of tell me left from me right. There you go. <laughs> Fast Eddie, can you see dual micro carefund build yet? It's not on there. <laughs> it's clever stuff. Yes, we're 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 gonna try and go interactive if we can. Heiko is saying that the voting box made the audio sync even worse. I think that's, it's too processor intensive, that's the problem. Enable it so, uh, as, far as, I'm con as far as I'm aware, you should be able to see what the votes are. No, Pete Collins, you can't vote on the TPD. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> if we'd had this in our chat on the day of the TPD, we know exactly what would have happened. Yes, there's no more cheating for Saverick. When we're saying anything about menthol or Marmite, I will know. And she's smiling in the background. <laughs> I can see. Um, after 149 votes, we have 39% looking for a Kate Phone Light Plus Clone Basic Coil, the top one. 25% say any of the above. I have 17% for the Squirt Micro Coil and 19% for the K-Phone Lite Plus Real with the basic coil. That's 150, uh, 150 votes, 152 votes, it's changing. Yes, Yoda, we are gonna have the coiling X factor. Uh, Mike Brown has an idea for a poll. Will Dave have to vape A, Marmite, B, Menthol, C, Marmite Menthol, and I'm gonna put another one on the bottom of that because we have to have four things to vote for, none of the above, and I will start the voting, vote for none of the above, and then close the vote. That's how quick that's going to happen. Thank you, Mike Brown. I love you too. Not really. Yes, we have 155 votes and a few abstentions. That's good. It works. Ah, Heiko is on a netbook. That explains everything. Marmite menthol chilli on a seed, you can bugger off and all. Anchovy chilli pizza with egg, right, it's getting silly now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have cast your votes. I'm going to stop the voting. It is now stopped. 39% um, K-Fun Light Plus clone. 17% for the square micro coil. K-Fun Light Plus real with the basic coil is 19%. 
and 24% said any of the above. I will take that off the screen. And it is now off the screen. Thank you everybody for voting. So when we come back after, I'll do it in the third half because it doesn't take very long. When we come back in the third half, I will completely, totally and utterly recoil and I will show you the KFUN Light Plus clone that's going to get done. On the votes on Wednesday on Mrs. McEvan's report on the tobacco. I wanted. Whoops. That one. I pressed the wrong button. I do apologise. That's what's going to get redone. That's what's going to get redone. <laughs> Guess who got that wrong, Chris? <laughs> I knew I needed to press number four. And I pressed the wrong number four. I do apologise to everybody. It's been, it's been a queer week. <laughs> Never mind. I wouldn't care. I took that off, you know. Anyway, anyway, there you go. Um, yes, added interactivity. I am going to have a look at the cool fire too, and indeed, I'm going to do that pretty much now. Now, you've you probably have heard of the cool fire too i know it's been spoken about all over the place and there is one here nestling in my little hands and here it is the cool fire too i shall stand it upright and put it there and try and run you through what it is let me take the uh, the eye clear 30b off it and get it so that it's completely totally and utterly on screen I don't actually think, and I know Chris is going to argue with me here, I don't think it looks that much like a hand grenade in black. But you don't agree, do you, Chris? I think it's horrible. Well, but there you go. Well, and I, I still think it does. It certainly has the look of a hand grenade. What? Somebody says there's a pube on the desktop. Where? Oh, God. And I'm here to tell you, it's not one of mine. Yes, the camo green one, is, we're being told, definitely does. Well, let's, let's go through. This top bit, where the pin might be, is, I believe, what is referred to as the beauty ring. Right? And uh, Big Z68 has already said you wouldn't want to go through airport security with it. No, you wouldn't. Too right, you wouldn't. So there's your top end. Now, it is, as you can, as you can plainly make out, an Ego style connector and 510. And then the beauty ring fits on the top, as, again, you might expect. I can't see me using it without that ring, to be honest. And I'm an awkward angle for screwing the blood thing back on, but here we go. I'll leave it off, David. Beneath that, you have this ring here, which is the voltage ring. And... Getting to be able to see those numbers is very, very difficult. I'm seeing voltage ring, it's wattage. And it starts, and I've got to get the right place, at 7 watts. You can just make that out if I get the lighting right. You can see that's at 7. Actually moving it from detent to detent, there it's 8. 8.5, 9. 9.5, 10.5, 11, 12, 12.5, and it starts again from 7. I'm not going back to 11, so I know where it's at. I've got, I'm here to tell you that for an old man with old eyes, these figures are the very devil to see. And as you can see there, where I've got the light right, it's not the easiest to make out it could have done with them being in silver or a little bit bigger for a man with old eyes but that said I do tend to just click it to where I want it and then leave it there beneath that we have the fire butting which you will see lights up just and it is the usual three clicks to start it to set it away and three clicks to stop it one two three and there's the little dance one two three it's behind a kind of a smoked glass window affair, so it's not massively easy to see, so it's not going to attract a great deal of attention. We have the logo, and then 
where the battery goes in. And this is, for me, this is where it all drops to bits, in all honesty, because the battery it takes is tiny. It is one of these things. It's an 18340. And just for comparison, that's my favourite size of battery there, look. It's a tiny weeny little battery. And tiny little weeny batteries don't last very long, generally speaking. However, it does work. Now, the kit that came up to me from safersigs.co.uk, my good mate does. And let's get the bottom back on. I will say, when you go to put the battery back in, you do need a little bit of strength to push that in. I would say it's kiddie proof. If you want to get the battery out, there's not a kid on the planet that's going to be able to screw that back in. Not unless they're a ninja. Um, it actually fits very, very comfortably in the hand. And let's get the, the collar back on so that it looks the way it's supposed to look. And I'll just sit that in the corner of the shot out the way while I get out the iClear 30B. Sorry, Chris, go on. Were you going to say something? No, 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 I am playing away in the background here. I don't ask you what you're doing. <laughs> I dare not ask you what you're doing. What are you doing? Changing shots and things in scenes. Fair enough. So if you're looking for anything, just let me know. I'll try and find it again. Indeedly doodly. Right, so let's get back now. Um, I, I didn't just get the eye clear. Um, come on, David. I didn't just get the, the Cool Fire 2, I got a Cool Fire 1 as well. And two different iClear 30Bs. And this is one of the two. And as you can see, it will take what looks to be an ordinary drip tip. It doesn't actually need the screwy in thing. So you can have a straight, straight ordinary drip tip. But let's run through how this all looks. I, I do quite like the look of this iClear 30B. There's the bottom. And you can see it says on there, iClear 30B VWVV. It's built for it. And the way... Oh, Lord. I always need cloths. My hands are slippy as hell tonight, Chris. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Could be something to do with the sweat. We'll take the top end off. And then undo the bottom end. So there it is, more or less in its constituent parts. If I take the, the coil assembly out, and this one's brand new. It's quite an extensive coil assembly, is that? If I pull it back here, you can see it quite nicely. Get the cloth out of the way, David. Um, and that screws into the iClear 30B base. It's this is quite a hefty piece of kit, this, you know. It's quite heavy. So we'll screw that in. Very simple to do. And give it a good tighten down. It's one of those cases where you can quite happily afford to give it a good chuck. And then the tank itself goes on. And as you can see, it recesses itself quite a way in there. And I will make use of a cloth because I want this to be tight. I don't want any leaks. <clears throat> right. And then the top portion goes on. I've got no idea whether I'm on camera. But you can see quite clearly how that bell... Oh, Lord. Can you see this end is belled here? I shall refer to it as the bell end. The bell end goes down and contacts that white grommet, sealant, um, what's the proper word I'm looking for? I cannot think. Grommet, sealant, doofa, thingamajig. It's what you have on a, a gasket. Gasket, flange. Somebody said flange. <laughs> flange, yes. It's the flange. When the grommet next to the flange is fully tightened and you have it inserted correctly, then you're away and flying. Right, so that's it all pulled together. Filling is actually a case of taking off the bottom. 
So having just tightened it up, well and truly tight, I need my cloth again to untighten it. Oh dear me. Right, here we go. And I'm going to have some Druid's Fluid in here. Filling up by numbers, begin. Where is it? There we go. I can't do anything right tonight. Okie dokie. Fillings up. I'll put it so you can see the markings. And we'll do the full 3 millilitres. It's quite a nice see through -y tank in a kind of. I'm going to say a green. Am I right? Green. Green. Up to the line Green where it, it up to the line where it says Max, although I've got no idea who Max is. And then screw it together. Making sure it doesn't cross thread, because it is polycarbonate. Aha, that's got it. And I'll give it a good tighten using the cloths again. Because we don't that's it. We don't want any leakage. And there it is. I shall put its drip tip back in, like so. And I'm going to give that a few seconds just to uh, soak itself in and go to camera two, which is that one there. That one's camera two there. So, yes, sitting on top of the Cool Fire 2 is the iClear 30B. It's Mara, the other one, I'll go to camera 4 for this, has or comes or came with the ball mounted one. But if I unscrew the ball mounted one, as you will see in the top cap, focus your swing, it's pretty much standard and should, he said, hopefully, come out, take an ordinary drip tip. And indeed it does. So this is a, a dual purpose connector for Crondubrillator, which is pretty good. Say it again, Sober. Connector for Crondubrillator. <laughs> so that's that's your iClear 30B. Now, Dave Kitson has been having the odd little bit of bother with his um, because it's... it's it's leaked on them a little bit. I have to say I've been using this, the black one, um, or the darker one, with the 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 bendo the bendo nubby top. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. Um, I've been using that all week, and so far it has not let me down. But now how now comes the time to try this? This is the the, the beastie, and this is um, what is this? Druid's fluid. It's 18 milligram. Um, with it's it's I think it's 70 30 something like that um, and I'm gonna run it at 11 volts but I just need to have a listen 11 watts not volts hello make connection that's it's running Yes, it is slightly aniseedy, with a touch of orange. It's gorgeous. It produces very well, and Reggie is saying it should be fun to see if DD gets a throat hit. Here's the thing, Chris, you won't you won't like the iClear 30B on top of the uh, the Cool Fire 2, and I'll tell you for why. You can lung hit this like a trooper. It's just like breathing in. That's why I had my little air control ring on it. It was mm. too airy even for me. That, yeah, and I don't like them airy. You don't? Like That's working lovely. And yes, <clears throat> that does give you a throat hit. But that's running at 11 watts which is a fair amount of power. You run at about 8, don't you, Chris? 8 or 8.5? 8.5 is my hot, 
happy spot. Your happy spot. It's not often a lady will talk about her happy spot, but she's not shy. There you are. That's at 8.5. We'll give that a try now. 8.5. And actually, it's working just as nicely. That's all right, is that? Um, we need to take a break. When we come back, I'll, I'll, Chris and I will have a chat because I know she doesn't like the form factor of this day. I bloody hate it. <laughs> we'll have a little bit of talk about that when we come back. We're going to take some adverts. Don't go anywhere. Back in two. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out. And we're back in the room, back in the room. Chris and I were just having a little natter and saying that this new system that we're trying seems to be working well, um, which is good. And I'm, I'm trying to look the chat, but while I was doing that little demonstration, I couldn't really see it. Kizzy apparently is in, is, is in his happy spot now because his lovely wife is out dancing. I just thought I would say that. Um, but yes, um, it seems to be working good. I have, have chat been, have, have we had any dropouts or anything? Not that I've seen. Obviously, the YouTube thing is causing one or two problems for some people. Right. Um, especially the iOS people. You should be able to see this on iOS um, just by going to our live page, uh, vaportrails.tv forward slash doodar equals 41, um, and it will play on, on iPad. Um, and I can demonstrate that if I need to, but it, it should play on iPad. It certainly does on mine which is all good. Um, technicalities and, and stuff. Andy Oatley saying, video is superb but not syncing very well with sound. Firefox on Virgin Broadband. Have you had a problem with Wirecast again? No. No? No. Right, because it's coming up in my studio source, not found. No, it's fine here. And my live page is blank. It's fine here. It's all running perfectly here. So you may need to refresh the studio, Chris. It's all fine here as well, babe. And I'm hearing it's fine with Sav as well. Thanks, Sav. Okay. Oh, you're not supposed to talk back to the device in your ear, are you? 
<laughs> and I just did. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, right, we've got we've got sink is fine. I've refreshed and I've now got three blanks, but it'll load up. I'm yeah, sure. they're, they're running. They are running. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, cool, cool. So it's all a learning curve. V oh, look, I've got them on a different camera. Have you? I know. Yeah, look at the top. Look on the old, um, on the studio. I am doing. I've come through on the HD from above. There you go. <laughs> I can show people that. <laughs> so it's I can. It's a bit yellow. Just a bit. But I can show people that. And I will. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's what... Uh, what Chris is coming in on, which is well weed, so but there you go, that's her working. <laughs> and if I split to that one, there you are. Odd. Very, very, very odd, but there you go. Such is life, it's all, all weird and wonderful. Yes, there was no sound on that feed. No, there wouldn't be. There was no sound on that feed, we know, we know. Anyway, look, let's get back to this uh, this coal fire too that we were talking about before the break. You don't like it, do you, Chris? I wouldn't give it house room. Tell everybody why. Well, something that looks like um, a weapon, which I'm sorry, but it does resemble a grenade. Um, it's just... It, it's just ridiculous beyond belief. I mean, some numpty will try and take that on an aircraft. And if they do, and I was on the security that was searching them, I would confiscate that. And you have been, haven't you? I have been, yeah. Um, so I'm sorry. I, I don't like something that um, purports to be something that it isn't. It was bad enough in the days when we got cigarette lighters that resembled pistols and things. Um, but something like that could be used to intimidate people. And it certainly won't do our cause any good at all. You I know, with the government and with the EU, it will not do our cause any good at all. So if you're going to get one of them, keep it in the house. Do not take it out under any circumstances is my opinion and I, I think it's a very valid opinion now let me say and i think i've got to say this i use 18650s and i get through at least two a day um this 18350 in here effectively means that for me while i find this very very comfortable in my hand it fits my hand really nicely like Chris, I'm a little bit worried. I, I wouldn't take it on an aeroplane. There's not a hope in hell of me going on a plane with this in my hand. Even though it flew in an aeroplane to get here, it came across as part of a cargo that would have been declared what it was and all of the rest of it. I think somebody trying to get onto a plane with one of these is asking for trouble. I, I'm fully in agreement with that. I will say, though, it is one of the most comfortable devices I have just for sitting watching the telly. It's great while I'm sat here. I was using it on Dave's show last night. I think I was probably using it on Thursday night as well. And it is it is comfortable. And in the hand like that, you can't really tell what it is. However, for me, the battery life is a phrase that goes along the lines of piss potticle. It just doesn't last long enough for me. I need to be beside me charger. Because an 18350, I burn through it in an hour and a half. If I'm heavy on it, I'll burn through it in an hour. Because I'm running at 11 and 12 watts with these. Um, that's not to say that it's it's a bad device. It's not. It works very, very well. And I actually like the way it works. I love the way the, the wattage ring works. But when it comes down to the looks, I do wish they'd not, not bothered with... And I'll go to camera four and show you. These bits, the top and bottom, are what make it, what make it a problem. If they'd made it just a little bit narrower and took out all of this and stopped it looking quite as much like a grenade, I think it could have been a cylinder mod and it would have been absolutely fine. A tube mod, if you like. Um, it's, just, it's just a little bit of a shame. That, they, that, that it looks as much like a grenade. I mean, had it been 
more tubular and more cylindrical, would you have been okay with it, Chris? Um, probably. I mean, the SVD that Eddie King came out with, um, I didn't like either because it was a, a very masculine mod, if you know what I mean. A lot of mods are smooth and sleek. Yes. Um, even when it comes to the VTR that I'm using. It's a heavy mod, but it's smooth and sleek, so a female doesn't find it too bad to use. You know, I quite like it. Mm. But when you come to, like, the SVD, it was definitely directed towards the male market with all its little lumpy bits, and I couldn't tell which was the button and which was decorative. Welcome. Because there were so many of them. Well, welcome to a man's world there. <laughs> I'm seeing now... Note to see it. Um, but no, you see, the, 80, the whole idea of an 18350 battery, I would only use that if I've got a nice slim device that's going to be stealthy if you're going out and about. That thing's hardly stealthy, is it? Well, quite, quite. And somebody in, in chat has mentioned something else, which I'll not take a look at this week. Uh, but we will take a look at next week and that's there is what it is is the cool fire one which is exactly what you're talking about isn't it really the cool fire one yeah yeah um cylindrical device no wattage control or any of that uh we'll we'll have a look at that next week and i think that's probably more along the lines of the things that you would like um yeah that's fine i don't i can looking at that i don't have a problem with that at all no matt didius is saying in chat that uh, a guy in the shop said he sold a whole load to marines i can understand that as well i think i would be a little bit wary about where i was using i think it it's a fabulous device and i love the 30b it's nice um in terms of use in terms of you know handability it's not pocketable if keith was here and i dropped it into his shirt pocket he'd fall on the floor it's a heavy little beast for what it is it works it does work really well but for me it's this is definitely one to keep in the house um and my darling wife has already put her foot down with a firm hand and told me if i am with her no way am i allowed to take it out but i will sneak it up to the knees mate on april the third I'll take it to the knees, mate, on April the 3rd. Yes, so I shall, so I shall. And it's time to oh. take the second lot of adverts. Sorry, Chris, go on before, before we do. Before you do, Egomaniacs just said, I would love the Cool Fire one. It's static 8.5 watts. It is right, it is. So, yeah, you, you're right, Ego, I would. Just that's my sweet spot. Does that mean I've got to bring this up for you to play with? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can go with the adverts now if you want to. Oh, now that you know you're going to get a new mod. Aye. <laughs> right, oh. We'll be back in a couple of minutes, everybody. And when we get back, we will recoil the clone as voted for by our interactive chat. Not be long.
6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. Whoops. I was, I was so busy trying to sort out bits and bobs, I forgot we were live, that the adverts had finished. I do apologise. Mayor Culper, I'm sorry about that. Need to keep an eyeball on what's going on, and I, I dropped the ball on that. But we have the Kfun clone ready to go. Before we go into that, Chris, anything mm -hmm. more that you want to cover on what we were talking about? Um, what do you mean on the Inneken? Yeah. No, only that um, I'm hoping to get a hold of the new Inneken lily. The lily? Which is designed for the ladies. Ah, oh, this is the MVP with prettiness, isn't it? It's not even that. It's it, it's it's more like a, an old-fashioned ego, to be honest, with a um, cartomizer on the top. They're very sleek and very elegant. Oh. And I thought I like that. And apparently, it's got some sort of dual feed to the tank, which is going to be interesting to have a look at. It certainly sounds it. I shall look forward. Mm. I should look forward to hearing more about that. Mm -hmm. Right. Where can I hear Skype from? Never mind. Right, right, right. Um, now what we're hearing, Sav, picture and sound is now spot on apparently, which is all good. And I am hearing Skype. Well, I've just muted a DND mine in case it was mine. Well, I'm so sure. You shouldn't be hearing. No, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, so, as voted for in our interactive poll, which thrills me enormously now that we know how to work it, and thank you everybody for bearing with us, it's time to have a look at this. And this is the um, Kfun Light clone. And this is, it is a clone, I freely admit it. Um, and it's the one that's got all of the... Uh, the plastic bits rather than metal. I've got a, a plastic, up, I don't know whether you would call it an upgrade kit or not, but it means you can see what's going on when you've got it coiled. And let's try and explain how it works. And it's it's actually dead easy. You need a former, and I'm, I'm using these screwdrivers. And with 2.5 millimeter canthal, I'll move that slightly off to one side. You simply wind your coil with the number of turns you require. Now I like um, somewhere in the region of two ohms. So I'll give this seven turns and then snug it down good and tight, as you can see. And you should be able to see that that's all snugged, right? And then it really is just a matter of placing it over, pull it round the screw, and then keeping quite tight, you cinch your wires down like so. And it's easier to see from this side. So it's just pulled and cinched, and then tightened. It does help, I think, if you've got something to screw it into. And because you've got it on a former, keep it on the former, snip your wires off. This is how quick it is, it, 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 and it is as quick as this. It's dead easy to do. Right. The one thing you've got to be careful of is that that coil does not touch the deck and you'll see there now you can see the gap if I move out all the crap out from behind it you can see that there's a gap underneath the coil you can either leave it like that or you can nip it up you can heat it and nip it up if you like now I'm just going to leave it as it stands and I'm going to wick it with the good old-fashioned stuff that I'm really enjoying an awful lot and that would be the Rico flat wool. Okay. And it's dead easy to do. 
you just need to roll it between your fingers until it goes nice and narrow and then push it through the coil like that right. easy as that and then one needs one scissors and I have some extra specially sharp ones here and what I've been doing is taking it down to just like that so I'm flat on they're not the extra specially sharp ones David where have you put them there they are so it's flat on with the deck same on the other side hold that there and flat on down to that bottom part of the deck and you'll see why in a minute and I'll just put that little curl in it at that point in time you now need to make a pair of doggies ears like that and put the chimney part on screwing that down like so and then with a screwdriver just took your wicking down so it's touching the deck be able to see that so you're just tucking it down so it's touching the deck and it's actually going to suck the juice from right the way around the deck I don't know if you can see that the beauty about it being see-through of course is that you can see through the side and see where that's at so you can see the wick is just over the little hole the little tubular bit where the juice will go up now at this point in time you're going to need to test and check it so I'll stick a bit of juice on give it a good draken and it doesn't matter if you overjuice it because the juice will go down into the rest of the wick and then I shall stick it onto a device this is a bottom button device so let's do exactly that and see what we get this is my Linear Hydra all right make sure it's switched on and press the button and you'll see it's starting to heat up there we go and that is very very wet but you can see it's just starting to heat up I'm not getting any discoloration I'll put the the chimney top on it and this is where you can check out how well it works for you mm -hmm. that's going to be just fine so now back on with the the, uh, the tank bit itself and this is a one piece tank and it's probably going to be as well actually to take this off the hydra to do the rest of the job and again I'll get my little towel because my fingers are slippy and just screw it down good and tight and again don't don't stint on this as long as you're not cross threaded you're good to go and now it requires fillage but first you want the top putting back on so again screw it on and then fillages as with all k phone lights via the screw in the bottom so having got thus far take the screw out easier said than done because I've really made sure that's screwed in tight and my hands are slippy as a very very slippy thing so there we go screw it out making sure you don't lose it 
and then we need to fill and I think I've got enough here so in it goes and you just fill it basically until it comes up just to well that'll have to be it because I've run out of juice but that's fine and then the screw goes back in um, I use a magnetic screwdriver makes life much easier this is the one that I was going to have and you know, I said it made it easier it doesn't I lied um, this is the one I was going to have Keith redo but that does want to be that screw wants to be good and tight he said knocking everything over make sure it is absolutely as tight as it'll go otherwise it might well leak and that's it done so I'm going to stick it onto a 134 and let's uh, see how it vapes there you are done easy as that any yes the fill screw can also be replaced with a stainless steel screw says Lemental Mm -hmm. and that is working an absolute dream the beautiful part about it is if anything's going to go adrift is that in focus you can see the wick through there you can see what's going on absolutely fabulous so yes Mm -hmm. that's how easy it is there you go the fill screw is an M2.5 and it's a 3mm Phillips countersunk that's come from Lamental. now then uh, Chris do you want to uh, anything you want to add to that yeah well, we were talking in chat about the um, people were asking about the plastic funnel and tank um, and where to get them and there's been quite a few suggestions put in on there where they are available yes um, but the question was asked why would anybody want that rather than the stainless steel well for me personally the very fact that you've just mentioned that you can see what is going on yes and for me that makes life a lot easier so I would go for the plastic over and above every time I, I think it's uh, for me I'm, I'm I'm not brilliant at judging I've got a stainless and all stainless steel and I have a hell of a job working mm -hmm. out when it's running out of, of, of juice and the one thing I don't want to get is burned cotton it's probably yeah not that bad for you certainly no worse than burning a fag paper i just don't like the bloody taste anymore so i can see what's going on that's really uh, the absolutely only absolutely right and i mean when you're filling and you've got to hold it to the side and so gently putting the juice in because spotting where it's going to be running over the top can be a nightmare because if it goes down into that funnel there you're going to get gurgling like god knows what mm. so for me it's a lot easier and i mean i'll just go back to me tranks will i you know i mean transparent tank yes Thank um goodness. neil roth has asked how long will that coil last if you it's not as easy to change that wick it's not as quick to change the wick as you would with a scrape but if you were to change the wick every time you empty the tank it's a little bit of a clot that coil will last you weeks and weeks and weeks i've that one in that particular one's been in five weeks and it gets used every day so it doesn't it doesn't deteriorate very quickly i change the wick every two or three days because again with it being see-through as it is you can see if the wick starts to discolor you can see if anything's going on doesn't pick it up too well on camera 
but it does work very well that way so yes um they last for ages now i've just i've actually just ordered 200 meters of uh, camphal in two different sizes um 0.25 and 0.3 and that'll probably see me out although i don't know if i keep on building coils every monday night maybe it won't fast steady is just um so dry burn to clean no not if you're using cotton if you take the wick out and dry burn you can yeah but you must take the wick out and dry burn it and yes you're good to go i'll tell you another good tip as well lads lads will know this if you've got a beard trimmer or if you've bought a set of hair clippers you know that little brush that comes with them brilliant for just brushing the coils before you give it the dry burn and after and then give it another one gets rid of any crud dead quick and yes. for the lasses we use an old makeup brush right wash it first mine but use an old makeup say i didn't want brush. to mention that to the lads just in or case. an old toothbrush does the job and now and obviously a pair of needle nose plier air pliers needle nose type tweezers and by Tweezers. that i mean the very pointy ones they clean the crud off as well yes but as you can see i mean that how long did that take to do 20 seconds Not to wind really. the coil 20 seconds to screw the screws down 20 seconds to shove the wick in the biggest times putting the damn thing back together and filling it and they are a very very good beginners rebuildable that and the scrape the two of them just um, for my benefit i missed because i was busy talking in chat um what size cantal did you use 0 0.25 0 0.25 i've stopped the, i've stopped using the 0 0.2 everything's 0 0.25 now because right. it's that little bit thicker and you, you can control it a little bit better for me and I don't mind winding more coils on, you know. If you if you want to make it neater and smaller than 0.2 or even 0.15. Good, because I must admit I'm using the 0.3. I rather like that, the 0.28 and the 0.3. Mm. As you see, it's that bit thicker. And I'm not going any further with this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You like them thinner and th thicker and not too springy. Think, th <laughs> yeah. Oh. Heiko has just said in chat he got two months out of a 0.35 micro coil. Was still working fine, but it had gone from 1.2 to 1.4 ohms. Ah, oh, shame in it there. Can I check the resistance? All right. Um, I can't. It's going to be time to get out. Bam, ba da bam. The Beatmeister. Where is it? got everything handy I'll get the Beatmeister out and we'll check it out I don't know whether I'll be able to get it on camera I'll do what I can switch it off switch it back on again will it go on camera it will but I don't know that you'll be able to see all right here we go camera four zero and this is actually in the beastie so here we go and it's beeping out at two one point nine. Don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try and hold it up with me, my hands. There you go. In ohms, one point nine. Said I was aiming for two. Seven turns around that screwdriver. It's giving me one point nine ohms. You can't really get a fat lot closer than that, can you? Well, one point nine's what um, seven I always aim for as well. Yes. It's a perfect spot. Well, given given that I'm um, consistently running on uh, on wattage control devices, yeah. If I was going to go for a mechanical, I would take a coil off and drop it down a bit to kind of 1.6-ish, um, just so that I knew I was going to get that good hit. There you go. I hope that's answered your question, Ridian. Oh, he says, awesome. Thanks, DD. I'll be making a note of that. Brilliant. Um, I hope that's helped everybody. I really do. Um, and we can do this time after time after time. Um, tweet me up. If you're not on Twitter, you should be. Uh, tweet me up. Let me know what, what, what you want me to do. And we'll put up, if we carry on using this, we'll put the, um, the, the, the viewer poll up. And, uh, and people can, can you know, decide what they want in chat on the night. Interactivity. It's amazing stuff. Before I go... I've got to do this because I think it's vitally important that I do. 
don't forget EFVI, the European Free Vaping Initiative. Do go if you haven't, and I know everybody in chat will have already signed up. I understand that, and I think that's brilliant. But there's all the details of it. It's all there. If you need forms, paper forms, go to efvi.eu forward slash forms and then you can pick them up in any language you want. They're all there. And here's the GB one. That's what it looks like. Room to fill everything in. I think each of these sections with the dark black lines is like for one person. So you'd get three on a form and then need to go back to efvi.eu. Um, so you can, you can print those off by the bazillion and stick them in shops everywhere you go. Get it done. Why not? And let's go and see how we're doing, shall we? See what the numbers are like. We have 39,253 statements. Currently, let's look at the rankings and see where Finland, Finland is at the top. Germany takes up second place. Denmark has overtaken us percentage-wise. And then the United Kingdom. That's where they're at. There's the blue line. Look, that's us, United Kingdom. It's all going well. There's the growth curves. And we must be green if we're fourth. We must be green. We've changed colour. That's how it's going. Hey, there you are. Um, EFVI.eu Yes, Heiko's singing. It's fun to vote for the EFVI. It's fun to vote for the EFVI. Oh um, dear. What? Nothing, dear. Nothing. What, Chris? The, <laughs> I'm going to overrun slightly, but I don't mind and I don't care. Tomorrow. Nikki Sinclair's bus trip goes and I am told that there's going to be leaflets thanks Nathan there's going to be a banner thanks Nathan um, people will be printing off those forms for people to sign and take them with them that's brilliant too and I've heard from a couple of MEPs who think that the EFVI is a fabulous idea and I've suggested that they might like to uh, corral a few of their colleagues and go down and sign up on an iPad on camera on Wednesday morning. If that happens, I'm going to be a very happy bunny. What about you, Chris? Oh, absolutely. And don't forget, guys, there is some on our Facebook page, there are some um, little handouts you can print off as well for the EFVI. Mm -hmm. So get a few of those as well because they could be useful for just carrying around with you and giving to people, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely right. Um, we'd probably better close it all down. We haven't actually overrun because we were a little bit late in starting. Um, we have. We have. Have we? But never mind. We'll forgive you. Well, I was going to say, you run as well, and, and the other boss is sitting in the control room, so I'm sitting there, and I haven't been yelled at yet, so <laughs> it's all good. It is all good. Um, Whip it up 69 says... Oh, did you hear that? Come there. Did you hear that? Overrunning Dawn, she says. Thank you, Sav. <laughs> um, how do we get our EFVI out to a wider audience? I would, honestly, I think I'm going round all my neighbours. Um, print the sheets off. Print a couple of hundred sheets off and go to your local shopping mall. Find the smoking shelters and get the smokers signed up and then while you're doing that collar anybody else if you see anybody with an e-cig that doesn't look as though they watch vapor trails or they're on a forum go and ask them what they know about it and get them to sign up and once you get people signing up you get a crowd take 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 the sheets to the pub with you we will sort out where you need to send them to and we'll let you know do it come up with it it's brilliant we can do this we can do, we've just got to stop being scaredy cats, get up off our asses, and go out with clipboards and do. I've just thought of this. Do what Cancer Research UK does: get in people's faces and ask them for signatures. Yeah. What do you reckon, Chris? I quite agree with that one. Yeah, get out there. It is the answer. Yeah, talk to people. Um, and always one of the best ways is go up to somebody when you've got an e-cig with you. 
and uh, it's amazing the conversation that can strike up so don't be afraid get out there get the word spread talk to your vendors as well when you put an order in you know and say how about giving a hand and spreading the word with this and we're going to get there we will get there and well, we're not preaching to you all in chat certainly not we know you're all doing it but you're the ones that we can ask you're the only ones we can ask to spread the word and i know you're all doing it and we're so grateful for that absolutely right absolutely right i mean we know when we're sitting talking to everybody that's in chat at the minute and everybody that watches on YouTube, we know we're talking to the converted, preaching to the choir. Um, yeah. But we've all got to work together and try and make the choir bigger and get mm -hmm. out there and just get everybody told, hey, we've got the best chat on the planet. They've proved that because they've helped us through tonight. Haven't they? They always do. I, I knew they would and they wouldn't mind. I knew that. Um, because, well, they are good. And please, chat, if, if we're continuing to try this, um, put it on trial, bear with us, you know, for the next week or so, because yes. you, we're going to make blunders. And we do apologise for the YouTube thing, but there was nothing we could do, I'm afraid. Yes. Mr Desi Vape has just pointed out it's not just the best chat, it's the best community. You are so right. You yes. are so and right. And we're keeping that community together. Yes. We're not going to let it go. Right. Um, I think we... Uh, on the back, we, we have to go. We then. have to go because Sav's now pulling faces. I should learnt them off me, you know. Did she? Taught her everything she knows. Is that right? Well, there you go. <laughs> um, Vapor Stall has said QuickBook vendors don't care. Here's an idea. If you identify any of them, go and stand outside their premises with the forms and get people to sign there and then go in and leave them a handful of forms and tell them you'll be back in a week to pick signed forms up and if they say that they don't want to do it then stand there and tell people where proper vendors are there you go that's a good idea i'm not going to have an outburst tonight because i've had my knuckles wrapped for the language i used last night for which Retrospectively, I apologise for any swear words I might have used. I don't apologise for the sentiments. <laughs> there you go. Um, we have got to go. Kat, thank you so much for tonight, my dear, for, for coming no and joining problem. me. No um, problem. Sav, sitting in the control room. I know everybody can't see her, but if I, if I, go, to, if I go to camera six, she's top, top shelf, second one from the left. Give them a wave, Sav. She will in a second. She'll just say, there you are, she's waving. So she Sav's in the control room. Um, she's been in to, to try and tie everything together. Um, the, the, the VTTV team makes me proud to be part of it every day. Uh, our community makes me proud to be part of it every day. All, all that remains for me to say is good luck to everybody going to Brussels tomorrow. Um, do us proud. I know you will. Thank you to everybody everybody for watching and putting up with the technical errors and mistakes that I've made during the course of the evening. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for Mark Van Boston with Vapor Scene, who will be coming out on the same technology. We're going to be trying get this 4G streaming. Whoa. Um, we'll see how that all goes. And the rest of the programs, you know, I don't want to overrun any further than that. Otherwise, I will get Sav and Kat coming down and kicking my head in because, well, because I'd have been a naughty boy. It's been a great delight to spend the last hour with all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until we see you next time, do not forget, vape on, vape hard, and don't let the bastards grind you down. Until the next time, from Kat, from me, and from Sav, Night night, everybody. Take care. Where's me credits? There they are. Bye.
sponsors of the Hayes Hour.